Hello and welcome to Kitzingen. I'm Johanna from communications team and I'm happy to have you here today. I'm also glad to show you our wiring systems division and... Oh, Ireland, hello, there you are. Hello, Johanna. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the world of Leone. My name is Aravind. I'm a part of the technology team here in Kitzingen. Today, you will have a quick tour of our product or the life cycle of our product, the wiring harness, which is the nervous system of an automobile. Could you believe that a startup from the year 1569 is today Europe's top supplier for energy and data distribution? And here you can see a complete wiring harness integrated into a car. In order to explain as to what goes into integrating such a complex and an important system into the car, we have the right man here. Hi, hey Fred. How are you? Over to you. Yeah, the harness is made of one to three main parts, front, middle, rear, and then you have all the surroundings. Like here, you see the roof, you have the same doors and so on. So it's like the nerve system mm -hmm. of the car, mm -hmm. but you cannot see it later on. It's one of the first components that is put into the vehicle during assembly. And then you have all the carpets and so on. So let's go to the board and then I'll show you how complex is it. Sure okay. thing. So this is an assembly board and here you have an example of the wiring harness. It's up to six kilometers of wiring. It's 30, 35 kilo, really heavy. With 4,000 parts like the connectors, grommets and so on and so on. So very complex. We need 15 hours to make a harness. We stand people in parallel here, like for plugging terminals. So it's really manual work, very complex for us. Wow. Thank you, Fred, for explaining that. Does that mean that if in case the number of functionalities in the car increase, the wiring harness is going to get more complex, for example, in case of autonomous driving? No, because we work already on new functions and new concepts. So look here, this is a so-called zonal architecture. So we divide the full harness into smaller zones that are easier to handle. And for this, we have as interface, this kind of zone integration modules for us. And today we have the right people telling us about zonal controllers and autonomous driving. Hello, Kalle. Hi, Aravind. Tell me more. For sure. The heart and the nerve system of future vehicles are zonal controllers. Interesting. So we developed these ones together with Valeo. Okay. The functionality is safety critical and must not fail. So this is known as functional safety and cyber security. Ah. So one of our key competences at Leoni. Follow me, I will show you how we develop these. Sure. Ones. Based on customer requirements and our own requirements, we create here the system specification and the system architecture. What we can see here on Matthias' workplace is the result, the outside view of our product. Okay, a first prototype. Ah, and where does the hardware come from? Welcome to the electronic workspace. Sandra? Ah, sorry, today on holiday, Sandra creates the hardware design, the hardware schematic, and later on the layout for the printed circuit boards. And you know, to bring a zonal controller to life, we also need software. And this software is developed by our Agile team. Functionality and characteristics are defined by software. And I can tell you, this code contains a lot of magic. After each sprint of four weeks, and I'm very proud of it, we have a full running product. Thanks a lot, Kalle. Ah, I need to charge my mobile phone. Always the same with these devices. Hi, ah, Jürgen. Hi, Aravind. Do you have a charging cable for me? Yes, of course I have. Here. That's not going to work for me. Where does this cable find its application? This is for charging vehicles. Shall I show you something? That would be interesting. Okay, let's go. So, this is the charging cable from within the vehicle. And because you need 10,000 times more power than you need for your iPhone, you need to have thick cables, you need to have thick connectors. And to be safe, everything is orange, so you can see the danger. 
and it's touch proof so you cannot touch the contacts uh, if there is electricity and this is not the only uh, cable in the vehicle we need other cables for the motor for the cooling and for the heating as well very interesting so and here is your charging cable oh, i almost forgot <laughs> yeah now we've heard a lot about technological development but all this is not possible without um, the right working conditions I'm very happy to hand over to Michael Detert here from Site Management. Thank you, Johanna. Well, um, warm welcome from my side. The pandemic situation has changed a lot and we were asking ourselves what is important for the new normal in the office world. There's two spotlights I want to share with you. Number one is the office infrastructures. We are caring about hybrid work in the future. We want to have plug and play solutions. We increase our capabilities in meeting rooms and we foster collaboration space because we strongly believe um, collaboration is key and the office is a place to meet. Secondly, for Kitzing, we have introduced already in mid, mid of last year a new mobile working policy, which is not only state of the art, but we also get very positive feedback from the workforce, not only in Kitzing, but all the places introduced yet. Plus, we believe we have a strong competitive edge in the automotive industry and among the big players on the, on the globe. Personally, I'm really happy about this and it makes my daily life so much easier. But of course, it's not just me, but also the colleagues from technical departments like simulation or virtual validation. And at this point, I would like to hand over to Aravind again. Now let's go to my colleague Michael, who is going to be explaining a little more about virtual validation. For I understand testing only real parts, what is validating virtually. Hello, Michael. Hi, Aravind. Good to see you. Tell me a little more about simulation and how our development teams benefit from something like that. Well, simulation is virtual testing. As a simple example, we're calculating how warm our cables or components are getting mm -hmm. at different currents in order to choose the right cross sections. We are also carrying out mechanical computations. We are evaluating the stresses caused by repetitive dynamic movements of cables or caused by vibrational uh, loads. I mean, this is the enabler to investigate and explore um, designs in early stages when um, prototypes are normally not available yet. And the so-called uh, numerical models are also the basis for future digital twins. Oh, that's interesting that we can use some competence like that in order to improve our complex products. Thank you. Back to reality. We are here in the prototyping workshop. In order to get real parts, we have the 3D printing technology. Hi, Sigi. Hi, Aravind. With the 3D printer or the SLS, uh, Selective Laser Sintering, we melt nylon powder using laser in order to get components like fuse and relay boxes, cable channels, or big housings. As you can hear, it's very loud. In order to produce testing components and prototypes, we also use the CNC or computer numerical control milling machines. When 3D models are available, parts which are made of steel, aluminum, and plastic can also be built here. What can also be built are testing components or fixtures for tightness, mechanical and vibration in the laboratory. And how can one forget the contribution of the prototyping team for the laboratory? Here we have the biggest speaker in Kitzingen or the so-called the vibration device or simply put the shaker. The test and validation team tries to just imitate the chemical, the electrical, the mechanical and the environmental effects an automobile goes through onto a harness. And here we can see that the shaker is trying to imitate the vibration effects onto the harness. It's just that simple. The vibration effects can be constant or they can be smaller jerks called the shocks. And here you can see that it is very loud because we are testing too many components at the same time. There is the first climate chamber, we have packed in the smaller components. There you have the next climate chamber. This is also connected to the next climate chamber and we have another climate chamber. We can go to the next one where you can see smaller climate chambers. 
system. And we have another climate chamber there connected to the test tracks. We have so many of those climate chambers here in order to test our components. Follow me and I will show you many more of those climate chambers and test tracks and the interesting tests we do with them. Thank you, Aravind. Now we know that we have so many climate chambers and test tracks here in Kitzingen. Very interesting. Did I hear climate chambers? So many stations without actually seeing something on four wheels. How does that fit? Well, in order to answer that, we have Joachim here. Hi, Joachim. Hello. <laughs> Could you explain to our audience what you're doing here and where we actually are? Sure. Hello and welcome to the Wegel Measurement Lab. My name is Joachim. I'm a test engineer and we are responsible to everything that has to do with measurements under real conditions or on vehicle system level. Primarily, we deal with serious fusing of our products, wiring harness, fuse boxes and so on, in prototypes. Which vehicle? Top secret. Furthermore, we also take care of research topics, from testing of in-house developments to benchmarks and stress tests of one-board power systems. Here we carried our tests in order to work together with our customer MAN and partners on an autonomic driving truck as a part of a research project. And in order to understand the benefits of development support, we need to talk somebody to the serial development team. We have the right man here. Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? Hi. I'm good. Tell me Thanks. a little more. Um, service team provides us um, with the optimization and we implement it in the drawing. Mm -hmm. Here you can see the harness design, which is the basis for our production. Wow, that looks a little complex here. Can you explain what is the content of it and how does the production team get to have data so that they can produce? I can show you. Here you can see um, components in the drawing mm -hmm. and also in the, in the harness design. We have connectors, we have boxes and we have fuses mm -hmm. um, visible. They are connected via the, the wiring harness, which is marked in yellow. And we work closely together also with the customer mm -hmm. to optimize the harness, to make it um, for a specific vehicle mm -hmm. and then provide um, the data for the plant, which they um, use to be prepared for just-in-time and just-in-sequence production. Now that was a lot more clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, my lady, you could not even enter this door, but you're lucky because today we're making an exception for you. Welcome, Joanna. Thank you, hi. In our Innovation Industrialization Center, Klaus Holt and his team are researching on processes and technologies that could be rolled out in our plants worldwide in the future. Klaus is the absolute expert in this, and so I would like to hand over to him. Hi, Klaus. Um, could you tell our viewers something about the core of your daily work? Absolutely. Thank you very much. So basically what we do here in the IRC is to develop uh, solutions for processes and products, of course. And we have to ask ourselves, uh, what is the market doing? What are our customers doing? So basically what we have developed here is a machine which is able to produce a zonal harness fully uh, automatic, so 100% automatic. And basically it's the first machine and it's really unique on the world. We are absolutely fans of simple solution and here you see a cobot and uh, the cobot is equipped with a camera mm -hmm. and uh, we use artificial intelligence in order to check our product mm -hmm. and uh, that is uh, our product on an assembly board and we are checking here if everything is assembled in the correct way and uh, basically our plan is to roll out the cobot in all of our plans to improve our efficiency. So in the end, when everything is uh, finished, we call our delivery service. Mm -hmm. We have a special delivery service uh, which brings the product to the next production step. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically we call it and it's always there in the right time and brings the products always to the right place. Mm -hmm. And here, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to give it a try? Yes, I will try that right away. It's pretty cool to see these technical solutions coming to life right now. I'm really curious about the further projects and all best for them in the future. But what about our future? Let's see what our new talents are doing right now, because we offer a wide range of opportunities for them.
time for lunch now. Uh, we have our own canteen in Kitzingen that cooks really well and it makes me really happy because so I don't have to bring food from home. Remo, that looks really delicious. Thank you. That's why we totally avoid conservatives or official flavors. Mm -hmm. We don't sell um, soup from the packet, um, fatty french fries or some other. We cook really tasty meals like fresh burritos, vegetarian bowls or homemade pastas. Wow, that looks really delicious. Can I have the chicken sweet sour with some rice? Yes, for sure. And sometimes you can meet really interesting colleagues here over a cup of coffee. Oh, my teammate Marco, hi! How, How are you? Hi, Anna. Hello. Hi. Arabin and I just got back from a tour throughout our headquarters and we followed the development path of a wiring system. We were really impressed of the great things we are doing here in Kitzingen. Yeah, also for me it's interesting to see how much expertise we combine here to develop the wiring system of the future. Yeah, yeah. And I'm also amazed um, to see, together with our countries, um, how we manage to deliver top quality and handle these ultra-complex logistics every day. For me, a master performance of which we can all be very proud. Yeah. I absolutely agree, Marco. Even I had the same feeling about this tour. Enjoy your coffee okay. and we'll see you soon. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. We are at the end of our tour now. For me, it was really cool to show you all the different stations and departments in a row. Aravind, when you first came to Kitzingen, would you have thought that Leoni has so much to offer here? You are right, Johanna. Now you have got a good impression of the wiring harness and the WSD headquarters here in Kitzingen. For more, follow us on our social media channels or visit our website. Bye! Bye.